Hi, welcome to Texas Lone Wolf 73. Your source for red pill truth. Nothing sugar-coated. it. Remember that. <laughs> All right, now, brothers and sisters, y'all may want to just gather around. The, gather around. We're going to talk about the modern women smashing right into the damn wall. You know what? Why in the heck did you let feminism influence you to stay career-oriented, hold off on having families? They lied to you, women. They lied to you. Listen, the way human biology works, when the female starts her monthly cycle, she needs to reproduce that ensures civilization replacement. So, technically, with this people marching up and down the street like foes and fighting for more rights, more rights, more rights, you give a woman an inch, she takes a mile. A feminist, you give her an inch, she takes a mile. I, what wound up happening, she goes to university, plays while very young. She's a beautiful, bright. Got all that attention from dudes. Now, this here is really what happened with this sprinkle, sprinkle versus drizzle, drizzle trend. You know the soft guy era? And modern women hitting the wall? Really? Let me let me go ahead and play this video real quick. Oh my. Might wanna grab you uh might wanna pause this video, grab you something to drink, come back and resume, alright? Let's go ahead, begin, shall we? Whoever fought for women to get jobs. Why? Why did we do that? I am so tired. I wanna just put my feet up. Like I am, oh my God. Pathetic. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Drizzle drizzle means I'm too broke to make it rain. Drizzle drizzle means you need to make an appointment with your urologist. Stat. Drizzle drizzle means I'm so maidenless that all I do with my time is comment drizzle drizzle into the comment sections of women that I would have to pay to spend time with me. Drizzle drizzle means mom, call the maintenance man. Drizzle drizzle means you're so unoriginal that you have to piggyback off the creativity of women. I have yet to see one person with a picture of their actual face as their profile picture using the phrase. So, basically, in a nutshell, with this uh, drizzle, drizzle, era, soft guy era, men have actually been scared so long and finally just say, hey, we had enough. We had enough. And um, if women want us, we're here. But we ain't, we ain't coughing up no money to, we ain't paying for nothing. You want us? You're going to have to buy us what we want. You're going to have to pay for the dates. You're going to have to do everything that the guys want. There's none of this 50-50 stuff. I mean, this drizzle drizzle is here to stay. Oh, lastly, I want to say the feminists caused this the feminists caused they, they caused this and this is the effect and this here to stay all right it is here to stay so guess what you're gonna have to roll up your sleeves and buck up and get tough oh by the way all them years you had fun 
making fun, mocking the guy, screaming, yelling, look, giving them dirty looks when they try to approach you. The tables have turned. The tables have turned. Now you're approaching the wall. You're what, 37, 38, 39, you're approaching the wall. You're over here making unruly, unrealistic demands that these top earning men look down at you and pick you up. Really? Actually, let me go ahead and clarify something real, real quick here. So, we have an abundance of women out here in this dating realm, this dating market. So, why would a man who worked his backside off, built his castle, swoop down and pick up someone that is in the late 30s, eggs are gone, crow's feet setting in, you smash right into the wall, you're actually over the hill, technically, not to be mean to you, but you're over the hill. You're past your expiration date. In the men's eyes, you're not even a wife material. You've been passed around like a used bicycle around town. Now, tell me what right mind does a man have with a woman who's been passed around the block? And cannot produce children in old age after 40. And you want that man to wife you up. Really? How delusional can you get? Well, I just had my fun. Let me tell you something. People play. People do stupid things. People grow up. People move on. Okay? But you're putting yourself back on the dating market hoping that Mr. Prince Charming is going to come in and swoop you up and make you his bride with unrealistic expectations. What does the hell does the height have to do with anything? Did you know you disqualify majority of the good men that are actually hard workers? Oh, I need someone six foot tall. I need someone who has six pack abs. I need someone who's got a, a sports car. Okay, well, then you're talking about them older, gray headed men. Well, I don't want them. I want someone my age. Well, I'm sorry, dear. The men your age in the 40s, their career is taking off. They're made. They're they're making the money, and and I'm sorry to burst a lot of feminist bubbles here. And this is going to get really good. The women start off happy and they end bitter when they hit the wall and they go over the hill. Men start bitter. And they die happy. Their money takes off at the tail end of the career. Get it? So, we're going to go ahead and play this video and we'll continue on, all right? Did y'all see the video that I posted about a young lady who moved in with her boyfriend of eight years after he bought a house without her? She's paying him rent and renovating his home for free. If you have not seen that video, go back and look at the comments and come back to this video so we can chat. Baby, the men are in my comments talking about drizzle, drizzle. So you know how Sheer7 says sprinkle, sprinkle, ha, ha, ha. They are saying drizzle, drizzle.
they're not going So, yeah, basically what she's saying is drizzle, drizzle. Men are saying, hey, you want me? You're going to have to, you're going to have to, now you're going to have to spend your money on me. It is the way it is, women. Feminists created this. So let's continue to play this. I don't want a war anymore. They're not using hammers. They're not building homes. They're not hunting or gathering. They are on TikTok and comment sections saying drizzle, drizzle under my video and drizzle, drizzle under a hoochie daddy short outfit that says soft life on the back of it. That's all I know. <laughs> I've been really trying to keep my mouth shut and let this whole thing die down, but I keep getting this kind of like condescending comment and it's so annoying to me. So a lot of feminists are losing their minds because of this drizzle drizzle. They're losing their minds. So what actually has happened here is <clears throat> excuse me, Men have been scared all along. They've been doing everything they can to keep from getting screamed at by women. Keep from being blasted, called creeps. Now the tables have turned. The tables have turned. All right. Now in order for the the guys to feel comfortable and stuff, women are going to have to go out there and do the approaching. Trust me. This drizzle drizzle, they're going to have to go out there and cough up some money to go to woo the men now. And Remember, the women or the modern women started this and it's here to stay. All right? Remember, when there's an action, there's going to be a reaction. You had feminism talk about women oppression. All right, what happened? It got so bad that feminism gave birth to MGTOW. Then men started saying, hey, forget this. Forget marriage. When I can just go out and go to work and build my own castle. I just make my happiness my priority. You see? Then we got this drizzle, drizzle. It came after this sprinkle, sprinkle scenario where women were actually making it harder for men to approach. Then they blast the men, calling them names. Men said, "Man, this is the, this Me Too movement made the problem much worse." Now you mark my words with this Me Too movement. It's going to backfire really badly. Don't know when. I don't know what, what month, what year. Okay. But to the women that actually put the men on blast, called them names, the men are going to repay the women back by calling them uh, names too and blasting them. Remember, where there's an action, there's a reaction. And you cannot blame the men this time. You can have to blame feminism for this problems. 
Now, let's go ahead and continue with this video. Because you don't actually want to have a conversation. You just want to be like, does this seem confusing for you? Seems so. Let's talk about this. What's confusing to me is the way that men are angry, that women have taken the actions of some bad men and generalized it to the whole male population. So now you're taking the actions of some bad women and generalizing it to the whole female population. And like on both sides, male and female, it's stupid. I've said already that I think the sprinkle sprinkle thing is dumb. Like I don't understand responding to toxicity with more toxicity. All we're doing is just adding layers and layers to the game and it's annoying. Why? So I'm gonna add my two cents to this. Toxicity, adding more toxicity. I don't. I. I just pointed this out. Women, you want to play games? Expect to get burnt in the process. Because the men are going to start fighting back. So, we're going to go ahead and play this video, all right? Why? We could all just decide to be better. Like, treat each other respectfully. Try to relate to each other. Try to understand that we're all human beings with our own lived set of experiences that you can't. Yeah, we're all human beings, but uh, on the same token, get rid of feminism and go back to traditional way of doing things and the problem will go away. Simple. can't understand as the opposite gender. I just feel like we're not getting anywhere with this. Like, I hope... I agree. We're not getting anywhere with this. Maybe you're getting some high fives or something for these comments. The guys who are like, yeah, bro, sprinkle, sprinkle. But is it solving anything? No, it ain't solving anything. But um, giving you a taste of your own medicine. Really? And uh, usually when you give you a taste of your own medicine, it don't taste good, doesn't it? So just... Uh, um. Basically, men are fighting fire with fire and say, hey, you want to play? We'll play too. I mean, it's here to stay. And if you're just like, well, it can't be solved. If you're just so negative that it can't be solved and you've just made up your mind that the answer is that you're going to be a jerk for the rest of your life, cool, great, go live that life. I hope it makes you happy. I, on the other hand, because I'm going to tell you something else. I don't know how old this woman is, but I could tell by looking at her. She isn't that attractive. And she's going to smash right into the wall. And when she does, game over. I'm talking pretty much after the age of 39. She's going to have a nice little break. And then Father Time is going to turn the water faucet on her after she takes a good bath or shower. And she's going to wake up and sweating. And that's going to continue all the way up into 50s. By that time comes, you're over the hill. And the men, with their money taken off, are not going to come in and save you or wife you up. Or ask you to marry him. Why would a man want to sign a contract rewarding a woman money to break the contract with a no-fault clause? And the lawyer and judges are laughing their asses to the bank with divorce. So, so marriage is a deal breaker here. Every man looking at the word marriage, he's going to walk away from that. And women, you started this. You started this. And there was one woman on TikTok said she does it for a sport. She marries and divorces for a sport just to get money. It's a sport to her. So guess what? You added to the statistic why men don't need a 
give her a last name or take you as a wife. It, it's, it's bad. And the marriage rate has actually plummeted. We'll be over here trying to be a better person all the way around and hoping that I'll find other men who are also trying to be better people. <laughs> So I'm seeing a lot of videos about the Drizzle Drizzle community in my For You page. And honestly, I am so glad that men just like have stopped pretending. I would much rather dusty men know their place and own the fact that they don't have the masculine characteristics to actually provide for a woman. And Actually, for a woman to tell a man to what a real man is? She needs to sit down and uh, take note to how to be feminine. The man will become masculine naturally as time goes on. Okay? So, for a woman to tell a man how he should act, how he should do, she needs to sit her little ass down and take some notes on how to be a, a traditional woman. So, I'm going to go ahead and continue this video. Be the leader of the family. The best part about them owning Drizzle Drizzle. And the best part about this Drizzle Drizzle is they're walking away from the relationship without even worrying about who's doing what. They're, they're, they're hanging out with their buddies. They're doing their own thing. They don't have time for anything else is the fact that it's going to make dating for women a lot easier. No, not going to make it easier. It's going to make it harder. Because now the women are going to have to pay up. Because now men are not going to be hiding whether or not they're dusty. I don't know where in the heck she's getting this information from, but I think she's delusional. Whether or not they're providers. I've had so many girls that stay in relationships for years because the guy convinces them that they're a provider even when they're not providing. And they future project to these women and they're like, yes, when we're married and when we have kids, I'm going to like buy you everything and you're going to be a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> Just for that to never happen. So now I'm really glad men are really, you know, standing up and being like, hey, I want to be treated like a woman. You know what? I don't understand where she's coming at with this. Because now women like us that want to provide never touch a guy like that with a 10 foot pole. Surprisingly, there are women that want that. There are women that want to take care of a man. Because just like how those... Okay, there are women that want to take care of a man. Remember. Give a man the space that he needs and things will work out. Okay? Guys think, oh, no guy is going to want a girl that's sprinkle, sprinkle. They have no idea that so many men want to take care of women, of the woman that they love. So for once and for all, let's stop fighting. Let's make women that want to provide for men get with men that want to be provided for. And let's let women that want to get provided for get with men that want to provide for them. How dare you? What a problem I have with the drizzle drizzle movement. Well, you know what? This drizzle drizzle movement is actually helping out the dating market in a good way. So, anyways. Is really nothing less attractive in a man than seeing him follow up after other men. Women want to be with leaders. We don't want to be with no little boys that's following up after other men, listening to what the big homie says. We want to be with the big homie, you know? And a lot of these drizzle men you see in the comments, is like, that's right, King. That's right. That's right. It's like, it's one guy. Well, see, you did. See, the drizzle, drizzle. And no, no, she's always referring to the men as boys. Boys play video games and shit like that, all right? Men are working and building their own castle. 
they're building up something that they can, you know, go and get on vacations and stuff, do things for themselves. Copying sisters and you're getting feminine tendencies because of it. Because as women, we like, yeah, girl, yeah, girl. That's what we do. Y'all are supposed to be leaders in these streets where, you know, your sons are only supposed to be saying that. Technically, men are the leaders. Women won't give the men a chance to lead. There's always women just wanting to have everything their way or no way at all. My friends... That's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. Relationship is a two-way street, my friend. That's right. Not, you know what I mean? Y'all are literally out here following other men like y'all not grown. How about new? Like you're not grown men. And that's simp behavior, which is why many of you are getting played for your money. Because the official brothers, they ain't getting played for their money out here. They know how to get how to talk to a woman. They know how to make a woman feel some kind of way. If you official out... See, men can pay their own way wherever they go. They have their own money. All right? But remember... This, that's what this drizzle drizzle is. If women want a man, they're going to have to approach a man. Out here, you've been living a soft damn life. You better tell them. If you official out here with, as a man, you've been living a soft damn life. That's why we saying we got to live a soft life because we've been giving these MFs soft lives. You know, y'all taking the wrong approach. Instead of trying to become women, try to become your big homies. Your girl wants the big homie. That's the problem. Y'all got to try to become the big homie. Stop trying to be the, the followers. Stop trying to be the women. Become the big homies, man. You know what it is in school. All the girls liked your big homie. That's what y'all need to be shooting for. Really? So, basically, um, men, remember, build your own castle. Leave these women alone. All right, let them do what they want to do. Let me tell you, they're going to change their tune whenever they hit 38, 39, and 40. They're going to change their tune. If they see you doing good, dressing up nice, and carrying yourself, driving a nice vehicle, and they see you that you're taking, you're, you're, um, taking off on doing good for yourself, they're, they're going to change their tune toward for you. They are going to change their tune. I don't know when or how, but let's continue on. Squeeze me? Oh, no, you did. So, we are going to go ahead and conclude this. Um, anyways... The drizzle drizzle here is to stay. But men have actually boycotted marriage. Because why would a man want to sign away half his assets in front of a judge he does not even know and turn around and hand over money to a lawyer out counting the dollar signs from that one party that pays most of the cost. Explain that. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. You have a good day. Peace. Oh, one other thing. You see that subscribe button? Hit that subscribe button. Like the video and hit that bell for more notification of the future videos to be dropped. Peace.